If you want to learn the basics of OpenTunes, you should watch our other video talking about all the basic functions. In this video, we talk about how you can save your project in a custom location, because by default, OpenTunes is only saving in a sandbox or a project folder within the OpenTunes installation path. But usually, if you want to work on a big project, you might want to save on an external hard drive or maybe in your Dropbox if you want to have your data backed up uh, in a cloud. So I'm going to show you how you save in a custom location with OpenTunes. So this is how OpenTunes looks by default. You only have that sandbox project available. You can create a new project, but only in that file path here. If you want to save at a different location, then you can just close that startup dialog and you need to add the location through the preferences by clicking File, Preferences. And in general, you find a little area where you can add additional project locations. And here we want to add a custom location. And then you can click on the three dots over here and find the location where you want to save in. In my case, I have an external server in which I already created a file location that I just need to select. And if I hit choose, you can see that this file path is created over here. There's a little asterisk here, and that means that changes will take effect the next time you run tunes. So we need to restart open tunes. You can just close the software, going to file, quit, and then you reopen it again. Okay, I restarted OpenTunes and I'm back in the start screen and now I can create a new project and I have that custom location that we navigated to in the previous step available. We can even select a subfolder like uh, here I made one for all the projects of 2019. You can give our project a cool name. And if we click OK, it's going to generate all these folders that are needed in an OpenTunes project. And now we can just start creating our scene, giving that a name and start animating. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn 2D animation, you might want to check out our big 2D animation course on animatorisland.com and on this YouTube channel. Over the next couple of weeks and months, I'll be releasing videos taking you from the basics of animation all the way to advanced animation techniques. I'd be very happy if you check that out. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic day and happy animating.